it was a long process. <laughs> uh, I started photographing two women that I knew and, um, and talking to these women, they would tell me, well, you can reach out to this person or I'll connect you. So it started very quickly. I talked to all my friends to see if they knew anyone that would be interesting to include in the project. And, um, and then once I had photographed about maybe 10 women, I could show what I was doing. Uh, and, um, and then it became very easy to, to, um, to find other women. And it was usually a woman that I photographed that said, there's this other woman that you really, really have to meet. Uh, she needs to be in the book. So it grew very organically. So the finding the women was, was uh, not a problem at all. That was easy. That was the easy part. The hard part was to stop in the end, to, <laughs> you know. Um, I intended to make, uh, to include 25 women. Uh, I turned to 40. And then even then, people kept saying, oh no, there's this other woman that really, you have to meet her. Uh, towards the end, I really had to say, no, I, I, I can't anymore. I have to, you know, I have to actually turn it into a book. And um, so, and, and the, the hardest, part was to, you know, the, the final nitty gritty, you know, the editing. And I actually worked with two writers. Uh, I did not write the stories, I did, the, I did the interviews, but I didn't write the stories. Um, and um, yeah, in the end, I, you know, I, I worked with a printer who, and that didn't work out so well. So I didn't really have the, the books at the, at the time of the launch. Um, which was very stressful, but in the end, I ended up finding a good printer in the Netherlands, funny enough, um, and it turned out great. So that was the book. Uh, it took me two and a half years to finish. Uh, and after that, uh, it was always in my head to make a book and an exhibition. But once I was done with the book, it had taken so much out of me. <laughs> I, I really cannot do an exhibition. It's just too much. And I also had to focus on my commercial work. Um, and then, so I didn't do an exhibition. And then a year later, a year after the book was launched, um, Arik from the Arts Center approached me. He said, yeah, we want to do a large exhibition of, of the Miami women. Um, and I didn't really, really grasp what, what it was going to be. I'm like, oh yeah, that's nice. <laughs> And then when it finally really came together, I was like, wow, this is really, really amazing. Yeah, because it's big, the pieces. And, and they gave me pretty much complete freedom to, to put it together. Um, you know, of course there was a budget, but you know, I, so I ended up um, turning my favorite pictures into very large pieces and um, others into like smaller collages that fit nice together. So it was like, it's a dream. 